Times says 7,000 pages detailing how the White House has been lying about the Vietnam War for 30 years. The way they lied, those days have to be over. I don't know how many people have sat in this chair and said this to you and been honest with you about this, but everyone I know, every all these actors that I mentioned before, some of you know the great actors of our time, were absolutely panicked because this was one of those movies where you couldn't pretend it wasn't a big deal. Do you have the papers? Not yet. All of a sudden it goes from being in this cool movie with Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks and a, you know, one of my best friends and a bunch of great actors too. Then it just sort of raised a little bit. You know, there was a, it was almost like, a, um, like a, a, a slight sense of royalty was there. Uh, instead of going this slow <laughs> to here, He's going to go this slow to here, but then he's going to go a little faster to reveal himself. <laughs> it's not the full report, but it's over 4,000 pages of it. She's kind of keeping in her own head and keeping to herself, and then they say action, and this person coalesces. This other person <laughs> comes it's like an apparition to her. She's carrying herself like Kay, this imperious presence, and it just hits a transformation thing. Tom's keeping it light, talking to everybody, and then slipping right into the scene uh, seamlessly. Meryl, it's more of a power thing. How are we supposed to comb through 4,000 pages? They're not even loosely organized. The had three months. There's yeah. no way we can possibly He's get right. this right. We got less than eight hours. We could shoot for City, then we'd have 10. Hey, 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 hey. For the last six years, we've been playing catch up. And now, thanks to the President of the United States, who, by the way, has taken a shit all over the First Amendment, we have the goods. Meryl, uh, or as I call her, Miss Streep, she has, um, she has three or four moments of pure cinema that are um, are magnified by the place that they come in the movie. It's one thing to have a cool line and a cool shot uh, and have a cool beat in a movie, but it's something else in order to have them play out when the entire movie is hanging in the balance and you're on the edge of their seat. Hang on. Um, see, if you catch his eye, you can just jump in and she's still going, uh-huh. And she's still going, uh-huh. Just here, one here, wide, and then a single one take. Okay. Tom is a... He's, everyone knows, you know, he's got the reputation of being the nicest guy in Hollywood. And he's very nice, but he's also really smart. He's crackerjack smart. He's, and that's, that's a thing that's just, I think probably he shared with Ben Bradley. It's such an attractive quality, how, how just a few steps ahead of everybody he is in the room. Yeah, that's all right. When we just take a little bit of move around like this, well, I've been very blessed in, in, in having great ensemble casts on, on everything that required an ensemble company of, of, of performers. No one was unavailable. All my first choices were available, and somehow, in the, and the few that weren't, we, we worked out the dates with the producers on the projects they were currently engaged in, engaged with, and so it was just all sort of fell into place, so, as if this project in 2017 was kind of meant to happen.